Well, guys, it's Will again. Further adventures of gears and beers and stuff like that. What we've got here today, this is my 9270. Um, I bought this when I bought my 9370. Bought them as a package deal. I uh, got it. It came. New transmission, motor work, decent tires. Claimed to be an Illinois farm tractor. Well, I didn't know Illinois extended into Webb, Mississippi, but whatever. And what we're doing today is I'm on a custom and hydrous job with my totally awesome Fermata 17 shank toolbar. And it's just greasy enough we can't do anything today. I'm not going to make a mess of a customer's farm if I wouldn't make a mess of my own. Um, I don't know. I like these old Steigers a lot. If you can't tell by in fact, I'm five, six of them, I think. They just get the job done and get it done fairly affordably because I promise you there's more dollars of electronics in the tractor than the tractor, than what I paid for it. The bar, the bar is 15, 16 degrees of flex in each wing section. It's very short coupled, which I like. It's good for up here in the hills and the hollers. Um, really, really like shank holder and the way the shank is double springed just don't have any problems with it yet but i've got maybe maybe 500 acres on it one of the improvements we did being this is a well let me rephrase this is a prototype bar this pre-production bar they made me a very good deal on it and they're they're taking care of it if you look here we've put super singles for the transport tire truck tires versus what's basically not a truck tire and we are going to put the super singles here just i get into some of the hills and the hollers and i have a hard time with the depth control uh they're working on it with me i'm happy um run mole knives on it because that's what you run on them where i'm from they seal and they work good uh we'll do a little walk around here um just uh, the first thing on a Steiger, if you ever find one with a drawbar support like that, either aftermarket or homemade, it's because it had a pan on it. Um, another thing I do is I have been buying these little kits. They're coming out of Australia. They're just hose wrap, but I get everything the same. So no matter what I hook it to or the guys that help me, we've always got it right. Um, safety chains, important. Use these. I'm not dead because of one of those, and that's no that's no shit. Uh, run ag leader control, five section shut off. I can shut five shut them off all the way across the across the bar, overlap and stuff like that. Similar to how a planner or direct command on a sprayer works. Uh, we will walk around here, and I will show you. Hey, look, Balin, Balin wire, barbed wire, hmm, iron. We are running a Continental cooler with basically Raven flow meter, Raven controls. This is your on off, shuts the whole bar off. This, no, I'm sorry, this shuts the bar on and off. This controls your flow. Works pretty slick. Uh, one of the things I did do was went to a local uh, discount tool shop, bought a uh, knockoff Chinese electric winch, wired it up for hooking these tanks up, and man, lifesaver absolute lifesaver if you're going to do this don't buy anything under 1200 2000 pound winch your cable and your battery life and all that will uh, thank you for it um the winch winch control goes here i've got a pigtail one and i've got a wireless one that i haven't played with yet but other than that we really can't do much today so i thought i'd do a little walk around um oh no by the way if you ever hear the phrase tiger duels on a steiger that's what these are here they flat bolt like that they're reinforced um i love them as the customer i love them as the owner my tire shop guys hate them because they are a son of a bitch to put back on and line up any rate that's all for this video thanks guys i appreciate this i'm having a good time with it i hope you guys do too you all keep your powder dry and have a great day